Hello and welcome to another video tutorial from Rankin County School District. My name is Josh Frazier and today I'm going to be walking you through how to bring courses into the career cruising system from the master course list. Now if you see any differences between the video and what you actually see when you log in it's most likely because you're not a career cruising top level administrator. And so, as a rule, almost every school has just one career cruising top level administrator. Uh, however, we can add one more if you guys are a bigger school. Uh, we can add more. For most of you, you'll be just a regular school administrator slash counselor, and the only difference is you can't edit the course list. So, let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and log in. So, I'm going to put this in here. Let's see. This is Northwest. Now before I actually click the submit button here, I'm going to check mark this box here that says secure workstation. And what this does is it fixes that issue where it logs you out after like 10 or 15 minutes. It's a really annoying thing to have to do. Um, however, it is there and this does fix that issue. Now the reason I did this was because they had a lot of issues where people were logging in in computer labs and it would and it would just stay logged in and then students were able to go in there and edit the course list and all kinds of crazy stuff. So that's why they did the secure workstation button. So I'm going to click on submit and it brings me right in here and I have my total students. And I'm going to go ahead and click on course planner over here on the left side. Once you do that, click on course types and I want to show you something before we get started. So right now, it is showing that we have zero courses at the school. Of course that's not true and the reason is because we need to pull in those courses. So I'm going to go ahead and click back on Course Planner. I could click right here or I could click the little breadcrumb trail located right here. I'm going to go ahead and use this button on the left side. So now I'm going to go down to Course Master and I'm going to click on Add New Course located at the top right. Once you get here, you're going to hit this little drop down next to select a discipline and click on show all courses. All right, so we have the courses here and there's a pretty good bit of them. I'm going to go ahead and click on check all and we get a blue check mark box here and click add courses. Now there's one more step you got to make sure you do or it will not work. Um, down here on the right, you have to click done for it to save everything. So let me go ahead and click on that. And we get back to the screen. Now we need to actually go back to the course planner homepage. So up at the breadcrumb trail that I showed you a second ago, we're going to click on that button. And now when I go to course types, which we all need to do, I now have all of these courses located in here. Now here's the problem. Of course we don't offer all of these courses. And courses like Homeroom Grade 9, Homeroom Grade 10, those types of courses don't count for any credit, so you can actually just take those out of your list. Well the question is, how do we take them out of our list? Well, we'll start with regular, regular courses, and I click on those. And you can see that we have a ton of courses in here. Well, I'm going to go ahead and go down and find one that's hopefully not offered at their school. Let's see. I bet you I know one. Let's do ICT. Okay. Obviously, Information and Techno Technology 2 is not located at Northwest Rankin High School because that was a middle school course. We actually don't even offer that course anymore. However, you do not want to delete the course. You don't want to delete the course because if you delete the course, then students who took the course, it will no longer show as a credit bearing course for those students. So you don't want to delete it. What you want to do is make it unavailable. And when you make it unavailable, that basically means that students can't select it to add it as a course when they're um, doing their course planner. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that and uncheck the box. 
And you know what? Algebra eighth grade, we can go ahead and take that out. We can go ahead and take Spanish eighth grade because, of course, this is a high school. So I've got those. I made those unavailable, but nothing has changed quite yet. So now that I've got those courses unchecked, I'm going to go ahead and go to the top. And I'm going to click on Update Availability. If you don't click this button, it will not save your changes. So if I'm doing a ton of changes, every once in a while I'll just come up here and click on it. Just so I can have it up to date so I don't lose anything that I've worked on. So that is essentially how you edit the course master list. Now it's important to do this because when students do their course planner, all of the courses that they have available, they can actually check mark the box and go to those courses and add them to their list. Now if they have a whole bunch of courses that aren't offered at your school, it's going to get very confusing for both them and you as the counselor. So it's important to have this list as up to date as possible. Now the question I always get is, what if I don't see a course that we offer? Well in that case, you'll email me and I will add the course and push it to your school. Now remember when I push it to your school, you still have to go in there and check mark it and pull it in just to make sure that it's at your school. So I'm predicting that this year we may have a few courses that we're missing and maybe two or three that we'll need to add. And that's okay. We can add those courses and then you'll just need to pull them in. Anyway, so I have a few more tutorials that are going to come out over the next few weeks. And if you have any questions, you can email me at josh.frazier at rcsd.ms.